Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you one of the cool things that you can do with Alphatrix. So Alphatrix is a program that works within the whole In Brilliance family of programs. So we all know BX fonts, right? If, if you don't know about BX fonts, then check out another video about the BX fonts. But BX fonts are native to In Brilliance and they're really awesome because once you install them, they show up under this menu here. So you just, type and your letters turn into that font. And these are digitized fonts and so they stitch out nicely and they're scalable. So let's talk about other fonts. If you go to my website, let me just go back one step. If you go to my website, then you'll see I have a article all about some free fonts to download. That's great. The limitation though, is that some of these fonts that are free only come in stitch file formats, not BX, but that's okay. I'm just gonna download one of these formats. It's downloading right now. It's a zip file. So I'm gonna go over to my downloads area, which is on a screen above, which is why I'm looking up. And I've actually downloaded it twice accidentally. I'm gonna double click on that zip file to uncompress it. And then this gives me access to all of those stitch files. Great, okay. So I have this in downloads. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go to utility and then import font. This is available to me because I have Alphatrix installed. So I'll say import font and I would like to begin importing a font. So I'm gonna go find it. And like I said, it's in downloads and it is, should be right there in downloads. What's it called? It starts with a B, I believe. Um, countryside, sorry. It starts with a C actually. Country kitchen P, uh, countryside alpha. There we go. So I am opening that file. Uh, let's start with the capitals. And you see I have all of these letters. I'm going to say select all and then import. All right. And so in brilliance, automatically figured out how these are associated with the letters. Now, this Q here is a little bit of a problem because it is too high. So I'm just gonna nudge that down a little bit. I'm using my mouse here. Q, uh, there we go. All right, and then I'm going to add some more designs because this particular font has the small letters in a separate folder. So we got the capitals. Um, I'm gonna get the small letters. Okay, I'll say select all, import. And once again, smart old and brilliance figured out what is what. Wonderful. So my P and my Q need to be adjusted here. They're too high and the Y. Okay. And I could also, um, well, let's import some more. I'm going to add some designs and I'm going to go to back to that folder. Let's go to the numbers. I will select all and import. And those will be over there. That looks great. And there's one last set. I'll say add designs and go back to that folder. I should have probably just put them all in this one folder instead of having to go back so many times, but that's okay. We'll get the characters, just two characters. Select all and import. Now that I have them all right here, I'm gonna give my font a name and I'm gonna call this um, Well, first I am going to go ahead and save this font Yes. Yes. And what do I want to call it? I want to call it country letters. Country 
country spirit. How about I'll call it that? And I'm going to say, this is a new font. And then I'm going to say, save font. And that's okay. I'm going to save it. And then I will close this. And now I will add some lettering, go to my drop down menu, and I will find Country Spirit. And there it is right there. And if I use multi line, I can just type a whole bunch of characters out. And let's just see how it did with my set. And it successfully, oh, that's a capital A, that's why I did it. It successfully mapped the lowercase, the uppercase. I keep typing a capital A. That's not what I want. A set. It successfully mapped out all my fonts, my letters to keys on my keyboard. And the next time I start in Brilliance, it will still be there. And it is named exactly what I want it to be named. Um, you'll notice one thing that this particular font has a little needle next to it. It just means that it wasn't digitized in in Brilliance. Um, it may not perform perfectly at different scales. You know, I would test stitch out this font at, at the size that you want before you rely on it um, at different sizes. But at the size that you import it in, like at the default size, it should stitch out pretty nicely. So that's one of the things you can do with Alpha Tricks, mapping a non-BX font to letters on your keyboard so it acts like it is a BX font.